Hey guys, I just wanted to make this video to say welcome to my channel. I've been talking about making a YouTube channel for a really long time and I decided today just to throw caution to the wind and do it because there's so many haters and stuff out there. I gotta be honest, YouTube kind of scares me. I've been kind of afraid. But then I thought, you know, I want to be a part of the BookTube community so it was more important for me to be a part of that than to hear whatever the haters had to say. I can just delete those comments. We just pretend like those don't even exist. So I'll, you know, hopefully that won't happen, but if it does, I've decided I can handle it. I'm the girl. We will just deal with that when it happens. Anyway, as I'm sitting here recording this, I have absolutely no idea what I want to call this channel. So I guess by the time you see it, I'll have a hopefully clever little name for it. I don't know. Um, but it's just going to be your basic booktube channel. I'm going to do reviews and hauls and tags and all things like that. I want to do, like, sort of... Um, maybe a little series or something about book repair and how to protect your books because you know sometimes you want to buy a book but it might be falling apart a little bit if it's an older book or something like that so I kind of want to do like a little series about book repair because that's something that's just really interesting to me um, and book preservation you know that sort of thing so I'm going to work on that we'll see where that goes but other than that this is just going to be a regular booktube video I really mainly just wanted to get this channel started just to be a part of the booktube community and to meet a bunch of um, you guys that I actually subscribe to and watch. Um, so I have a different channel. This one I just started for this purpose. So I have been watching a lot of you booktubers out there. I'm big fans of a lot of you guys. I'm not going to name drop and say, you know, who I'm fans of, but you know who you are. I love all of you guys. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to do a haul video because in anticipation of doing this, I thought I need new reading material. So I went on a book shopping spree, bought 12 new books, <sighs> 12 books. I'm so excited, but it, I mean, this is a haul for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started because um, I don't want this to be like a 30 minute long video or something and get kicked off YouTube. I don't know if they do that, but I don't want that to happen. Um, all of the books that I'm getting ready to show you came from a place called Half Price Books. I don't know if you have one in your town, but if you do, they're definitely worth checking out because my hardcover books I got for super, super cheap. Um, I'll go over the prices and everything with you, but literally everything in that store is half price or less. And they have more than just books. They have CDs, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. So check them out if you have one. So like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. As you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but these are all James Patterson books. I have about two rows of his books. I tried to buy them all, and I'm several behind. So I picked up three of his books, actually. The first one is Postcard Killers. This book retails for $27.99, and I got it for $6.99. So that's a huge discount. And all of these books, like I said, came from Half Price Books, but they are all in excellent condition. And they don't even look like they've been opened, most of them. And the ones that do, you can kind of tell, have been opened. There's no, I've chose ones with no writing or anything. So that's the Postcard Killer from James Patterson. Sorry for the glare. The next one is Toys. This one was also $6.99. I don't like this cover for some reason, I don't know. And then there is Swimsuit. And that's what that one looks like. So I'm very excited to put these three in my James Patterson collection. Hopefully get around to reading them soon. I still have several up there that have not been read. So I need to get on it. The next book that I got was $3. And it is called Cemetery Dance. It's one that I've been seeing for months now on the shelf and I pick it up and I think I'm going to get it and then I don't and then I saw it for three dollars so I was like I have to get this. So this is Cemetery Dance. It's about a journalist that is killed and then I think like a year later he is seen committing a crime or something like that. I just tried the inside little flat but that's what it looks like. It sounds really good. So I think this one's a thriller. And then whenever I go to the bookstore I just kind of walk up to the shelf and pick one uh, just a random book out and um, I call it my wild card book and that's what I did with this book I just went up to the shelf and picked it out and it just happened to be an Oprah book club book not that I have anything against Oprah but she usually doesn't pick I don't usually like the books that she picks it's called Daughter of Fortune I like the cover I didn't read what it was about I have not a clue 
say I'm going to give it a whirl. It was my wild card, and that's the deal with my wild card is I walk up to the shelf, I pick it, and I read it. And luckily this is only $2, so if it's a flop, I didn't spend a terrible amount of money on it. So that's what the cover looks like. It's just very haunting. I don't know. I'm excited to read it cause, just because of the cover. <laughs> so there's that one. And then I got another copy of A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. I actually have this book, but um, this is just a brand, I mean it's brand new. It's never been opened as far as I can tell. And it was $2. The sticker is still on it. So I just picked up another copy of this. My other one fell absolutely apart. The next three books I have are just childhood favorites of mine. They're ones that I had when I was younger, and they were on clearance. Actually, that's not true. This one I have no idea. It's called Whispering to Witches. It was 25 cents, and I just it just sounded good. I said Harry Potter fans would like it, so I picked that one up. 25 cents, you can't go wrong. The next two, I'm sorry, two of them are from my childhood, and the first one is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. This one was 50 cents, so I thought I'll just go ahead and pick it up, and it'll be cute to reread some of these stories. And the funny thing behind this book is when I was in elementary school, which was a very long time ago, this book was really, really popular and all the kids wanted to read it and there was like this big long waiting list for it. And when it came to my turn on the list, um, I took it home and I was so excited to read it and everybody was talking about all the scary stories in it. And then I looked at the pictures and I don't know if you can see that. But there are some absolutely terrifying pictures in this book. There's one in particular. Oh, here it is. Oh, my gosh. This one is terrifying. Look at this. And this is a kid's book. So by the time I got it home, by the time my little name got ready to be marked off the list and I took it home, I was too scared. <laughs> I was too scared to read it. I had to go back to school and pretend like I had read the whole thing. When really, I had no clue what anybody was talking about because I was too scared. And then there's Benicula. Benicula is absolutely one of my favorite stories. It's about this little rabbit that they find in a movie theater, the family finds in a movie theater, and he's actually a vampire. He sucks the juice out of the vegetables, and that's his little cat that lives in the house and the dog. It's just a cute story. It's a short little little book, and I got this for 50 cents as well. It's definitely worth reading. There's a whole series of these, but that's the only one that I've read. So those were my half-price books, books, half-price books. Those are the books I got to have price books. How about that? Um, that still didn't sound right, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I think that whole stack, I mean, you can add it up as like $27, $28, something like that. It wasn't very expensive for all of these books. And like I said, they're all pretty much brand new. The next two books I got at Barnes & Noble, and I have the little discount card. So, sorry for all the crinkly. They're still in the bag. The first one is Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. I have, this is my most expensive book. I paid $14 for it. Um, I just heard really good things about this book. Um, a woman that I work with actually read it, and me and her kind of like the same things, so she said that I would really like this, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then the next one, I'm so embarrassed to even be showing this one because everybody and their mother has read it except for me, and it's Looking for Alaska by John Green. I've never read anything of his but everyone says that he is an amazing author and this actually sounded like a really good book. This, out of all of his books, sounded like the one that I would like the most. I am sorry, that glare is just awful. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and picked this up. It was only like, ten, I think it was $9, $8.99. So I went ahead and picked it up. I'm excited to read that. I don't know if I'm going to do reviews on all of these. I don't know if there's a big demand for reviews on all of these. But, I don't know, maybe I will. I don't know. If there's a particular book in the stack that you want a review on, let me know, and I will absolutely try my hardest to get one done for you. Right now I'm reading the Game of Thrones series, and I know there are reviews upon reviews of those, so uh, I probably won't do that. I'm on the fourth one right now, and I'm having a lot of trouble getting into it. <sighs> the third one was the best, and then if you haven't read it, I won't spoil it, but... If you've read it, you know how that book goes. And then the fourth one, there's just like a lot of stuff going on, a lot of new people, and it's just really hard to get into. I've been walking around with it for like two months, and I just haven't been able to read it. So if you have the same problem, let me know. Um, anyway, comment below if there's anything that you want from this channel, if there's any tags or anything that you want me to do, any reviews on the books that I showed you, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this haul, and I hope you all enjoy this channel. I look forward to getting to know all of you and all that good, wonderful stuff. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.